Hey guys, welcome to the Mariah Report. I'm, I'm Dan Enriquez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> uh, leave it in. It's us. It's us. You know us, guys. It's here. We got a lot to talk about today. We're going to talk about saving the day. Yes. The MC30s. Rarities. The good mo- oh, girl, 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 girl. It's too much. Yes. But before we get into that, how how are things? What's going on in the world, Martin? Things are What's good. Up? Yeah. It's been a busy week. It has been. A lot of politics going on. <gasps> That's right. Yes. Here's what I realized. Mm-hmm. Michelle Obama. Yeah. Oprah. Lover. Mariah. Love. They are running the country right now. They got it under control, yes. don't they? <laughs> I feel like that's who's in charge and who's telling me what to do. You are so right. Because now that I think about it, like if I look at this week and what's happened, I think all three of those ladies have brought a tear to my eye at one point or another. Yes. But I feel like if we follow their lead, everything will be fine. I believe it. I believe it. Yes, indeed. (laughs) Yes, indeed. You know, Mariah actually just tweeted um, the other day. She was watching the DNC Mm. and she apparently is supporting over there at the Biden-Harris team. We must. We must. Well, we must. Of course, but I'm just like, yes, Mariah, let it be known. I think the the overall result of this week is that obviously the Democratic Party has politics in the bag. They know what to do. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh they're doing it. They're doing their job. So let's just stick to the plan. <laughs> Can we please? Yes. <laughs> do what Mariah says. That's uh, you know me. I'm right there. Mariah says buy this number one's album that I already have. I'll buy it. Mm-hmm. So it's it's there. And she's doing what, what Michelle says, and Michelle's doing what Oprah says. Exactly. So everything's fine. Oh my fine. god. So did you obviously watched um the Michelle Obama speech, right? Yes, yes. How good. Super good. Oh my god. I feel like there's a stab at Nick Cannon in there. Really? What? I missed it. Because you know how she mentioned don't be voting for phony. Pre- phony okay. Candidates, yeah, yeah, yeah. AKA Kanye. Uh huh. Well, Nick Cannon was saying he's voting for Kanye. That's right. Remember? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So in conclusion, yeah, yeah. Nick Cannon's an idiot. Okay. Well, the, uh, hey, honey, we've been saying it. Yes. We, I mean, we love everybody. Yeah. But we're happy with Mariah's current situation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're we're pleased with it. So we're good. I feel hopeful. Yes. I feel like we're over the hump of bleakness. I know. It's literally, if you really think about it, like here in the U.S., uh, the voting day is just uh, two months away. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, it's right around the corner. Mm-hmm. So this is this whole home stretch that we're in with you know politics and Mariah. Yes. The Book and the rarities. Um, it's girl, too much. We went from like the lowest of lows yeah. to like over the top high of high and like overwhelmed with yes. amazing things. So it's it's really, really, it's an exciting time to look forward to. I was genuinely thinking, thank God for Mariah in this Corona era because she's given us a little bit of fun. It's the only bit of fun. Yeah. Like I literally can't think of anything else that's been like, even just like if I listen to like, you know, look at other music artists that I like who have like put things out, like mm-hmm. nothing is like boosting my spirits the way Mariah has. And Mariah's barely working. I'm sure she's working hard, but she's just digging up old stuff and serving exactly. that. Exactly. Oh my God. We're going to, we're going to talk about the Rarities album, which was officially announced after the break. So stay tuned. Cause we got, uh, we're going to do some recapping. We're mm-hmm. going to do things. Mariah, is still out there in the Hamptons. Fine. And she's running around with that Millie. Stay there. It, girl, that's fine with me. Yes. She could if she got the the cameras and the lights, mm-hmm. that's fine. Yes. And she did her GMA bit and I'm happy. Yes, it worked. Very, very much so. But let's just quickly recap about last week's MC 30s. We talked about it a little bit, but let's um let's give an overall recap. How did you feel about all the remixes? Super happy. Again, just glad they're up on the streaming to access. Yep. Don't have to be digging out CDs, mm-hmm. uploading, Dusting labeling. Off CDs. Girl. Nah, don't no. Don't have time. So no now time. they're available <laughs> in HQ, high quality. Mm-hmm. Um, the Always Be My Baby is the star of the show. I, I've been saying it. Yeah. I've been saying it. And some of those remixes of the club mix, I haven't heard. Like the, what's the DTS remix or something? The D, the, 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 Saint, the Saint dub? One of them. Of the Always Be My Baby? Yeah. I think it's the Saint Dub that no, you're no, no. talking about. No, no. Let me pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Because it's, so, it's right There's at our so disposal now. I we know. can actually pull up these Mariah remixes because I, again, Always Be My Baby has been one of my favorite club mixes along with The Heartbreaker, If You Should Ever Be Lonely. Yeah. So I've been listening to the Always Be My Baby like from top to bottom. Same. The ST Dub. The Saint Dub. That's how I look at it. Okay. <laughs> tomato, tomato. 
<laughs> I don't know what ST stands for, so I just think, well, Saint Mariah. Right. <laughs> that song, you're in the club in the 90s. Oh, uh-huh. The oh. Warehouse Industrial Club. Oh, at the Rays. Mm-hmm. Girl, at the Ray. <laughs> yeah, that was a trip back in time. Yeah. Literally. It's so, it's so amazing. Like you, like you want to like get down. Yeah. You want to dance. Uh-huh. I can just picture it now. I'm sure because you know, back in the day, I did go to some raves, yes. girl. I was, I was, I was out there raving until the sun came up. I want to say a rave. I'll do a club. Oh, I well, I would do a club too, but like before I was like. I guess before I was 21, you would go to, like, raves because you could get in. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they got all the glow sticks and the colors and everything. That's Mm. where that would be playing Mm -hmm. at, right there. Mm -hmm. Right there, as the sun's coming up at 7 a.m. Yeah. (laughs) But interesting to see that Mariah was infiltrating particular markets. Exactly. Very very specific. mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm telling you, these remixes, specifically the Daydream ones, Mm. they were monumental in terms of... I think this whole Daydream era was monumental to Mm. really, like, see the the breadth and width that Mm. Mariah's creativity goes. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we have the classic, you know, Mariah singing behind the mic. Mm -hmm. We have all these urban hip-hop remixes, Mm -hmm. and then she's bringing us to the club, all with the one song. Yes, exactly. Like, who does that? Yeah. Nobody does that. No, I know. They haven't since, and they never will. Not the way Mariah did. And I think, you know, knowing knowing the breadth and the width of what one song can do for Mariah, I think that's what kind of created a little disappointment in the later albums recently like the like the memoirs album Mm -hmm. those remixes the breadth and width wasn't there that we're used to that's true that's that is true i mean we were really really spoiled Spoiled. in in this era Mm -hmm. because and she still does give us great remixes Mm -hmm. every once in a while like off the top of my head i could think like the uh touch my body club mix Mm -hmm. is really good Um, and there's a couple of other great ones the emancipation mixes were really good those were really good too yes absolutely Those club mixes? Oh, yes. Those were good, too. Those they were, were there. Good too. there. They were there. But I think, like, memoirs and, like, even beyond, she got some good club mixes. Even yours or Your Mind Eternal. Mm-hmm. That has good That ones. has good, good, good mixes. But they weren't, like, re-sung and re-imagined mm-hmm. the way that these are. Always Been My Baby has whole new lyrics. <laughs> it's a different song. <laughs> it's But the same song. But it's the same song. <laughs> yeah. It, you know, who, it's just mind blowing. I know, mind blowing. And I, I just really, I think I said this last week. I really hope that the general public start to get an understanding of Mariah's creativity, especially with this set of remixes that she gave out. Mm-hmm. Always be my baby, mm-hmm. and even fantasy, because you know everyone loves that song. Mm-hmm. And those beautiful acapellas for mm-hmm. one sweet day, amazing. Girl, I'm. You want to talk about angels singing? Yeah, it was good. Oh, so so good. And then again, underneath the stars. Yeah, she brought it to a whole nother level. And these are just things that we that. This is why the rarities is key word because they're there, but you just kind of forget about it. Yeah, even us as hardcore lambs. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know what I mean. So this has been a really great refresher course in Mariah. Oh, honey, I've been reliving my whole childhood with this uh-huh. MC30. And again, nothing new. She's just bringing it back up. I know. Right? Yeah. And the excitement that you get, like when you see on your i your iPhone or whatever, however you listen to your streaming Spotify, mm-hmm. that you have an hour worth of songs <laughs> my baby yes. remixes. Yes. And you're like, this is the best thing that's ever happened. Uh-huh. I know. <laughs> Even though I've probably listened to all of them a million times before. And I have them already. (laughs) Exactly. It's just so exciting. It's It's a really, really good time to be a lamb. Yes. Especially because Mariah gave us another peek into the vault. Okay, so we need a corrections corner. Turns mm-hmm. out the video wasn't lost. <laughs> so she literally <laughs> dug it up. Yeah. Thank oh, goodness. Okay, so we have like 10 seconds of a Underneath the Stars music video. Right. Maybe hand cam, steady cam. It's um, back in the day. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely mid nineties. Yes, but she looks great. Oh yeah, totally. I, I'm loving the simplicity of it and the she, bangs. Yes, almost like a precursor to the butterfly uh, music video because mm. they were very mm. bangy. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> out in the field. Yes. <laughs> and then she's swinging on the pole. Yeah. I really did not think that we were going to get get that. Same. That was a huge surprise. Mm-hmm. Do you think we're getting the whole thing? Well, the only thing that leads me to believe that we probably will be getting the whole thing is mm-hmm. that when she posted it on her Instagram, mm-hmm. she put a hashtag work in progress. Mm-hmm. So I was like... Hmm, you know you got to get your magnifying glass, yes, you got to yes. put your lamb hat on, yes. and you really got to study all the um, possibilities of what that could mean. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it could mean nothing. It, it literally, <laughs> knowing Mariah, it could just be that she got a new dog. Yeah. It, you never know. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, she's cooking something. <laughs> right, right. The spaghetti's on the, on right, the stove, right. girl. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. But I think we will get it. Because I think yeah. we're, she definitely has more visuals to serve us mm-hmm. this era. We've been getting a lot of the videos in HD and whatnot, which is cute. Mm. But I want some of these unreleased moments. All right. Can we just discuss something in the snippet? Yes. What is your theories on the cute little dress mixed mm-hmm. with the man's trench coat? Mm. What does that symbolize? Well, you know what? I didn't put my lamb hat on for that. And I didn't think about it. Right. But maybe it's like her boyfriend's coat. Yes. On the grass. Yes. That he like laid Laid down down for her. Oh, yes. And now she's chilly, so she has to wear it. Yes. So there's a man involved in that video. Oh my God, yes. See? But then I'm thinking, if you look very closely at the Instagram clip... There's a fade out and you see her like with a baseball cap and um, sunglasses on, Mm -hmm. which is very reminiscent of the look from the Soul Convention Anytime You Need a Friend remix. True. So I'm wondering, like, how was this shot? You know what I mean? Is it like a, you know, because during the Daydream era, when some of these videos were coming out, like, you know, when she had to film the One Sweet Day video, mm. it was literally had to be them in the studio because Mariah was booked, honey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She didn't have time. Mm-hmm. When you look at the Forever video, mm-hmm. it's just backstage tour moments. Mm-hmm. So she didn't have time. So I wonder if they did like a little bit of a like a setup for the Underneath the Stars video and then they were going to like intersplice it with like more behind the scenes tour footage. Mm. Possibly. I don't know. Because she was busy and booked, honey. Yeah, but now you said that, I just had a visual of back to the Always Be My Baby video at Camp Mariah with mm-hmm. the stars and we're by the water and Gorge- camp. Gorgeous. Maybe we can intertwine snippets of landscape. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe I mean? they can use some footage, some B-roll create that they have vibe. already shot. Yes, create a vibe. Could be, could be. Interesting. I don't know what we're going to get. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to get. Um, but I wonder who the inspiration was for the jacket moment. Well, I think we're going to find out in the book. Oh, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I think the book is going to let us know the meaning of Mariah Carey Mm. and the meaning of Underneath the Stars. Mm -hmm. Because she always talks about that being one of her favorite songs. And yes, it's beautifully written, it's beautifully sung, and it has like this beautiful like energy and vibe to it. But you know that when Mariah says a certain song is like one of her all-time favorites of her own, Mm. there's a personal connection to it as well. Mm Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be, get my magnifying glass out, girl. Because mm-hmm. 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 we know for sure that wasn't a tummy situation. Oh, no, 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 no. Right? No. Us, oh, gosh, no, 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 So no, that's where no. we're going to be zooming in and highlighting yes. things in the book. Gosh. Yeah, speaking of daydream. So this year, well, we'll we're going to talk about the rarities and GMA, and then we're going to take a quick break. But um, she's going to release the rarities on October 2nd, which is like the anniversary time of the Daydream album coming out. Okay, that's a clue. Right? I think I think it's planned that way. Yes. Because I'm like, why wouldn't she just release the rar- rarities now? Today, yeah. yeah honey, just, or the week of the book. It's well, I guess it is hey, the same week, but... Well, it's already pre-ordered at number one on iTunes and Amazon. So just, sure is. Just un- unlock it. Yes, all, all across the world. Yeah. On, in all the countries. The people are thirsty. Girl, this is going to be big. Big. And all the magazines, all the blogs, everything is covering this. Mm -hmm. Like, she's getting really good press for this. I know. So people are, I think people are excited. Mm -hmm. Because this is going to, we're going to have to get, we're going to have to hold back from getting into it because we're going to talk GMA. But this is going to span her entire career. Yeah. We're getting songs that we've never heard from the early recording days. And we're also going to get things that are, like, current, more close to, like, current day. Yeah. Uh, who does that? I know. Nobody does that. You know what's funny, though? It's just her scraps. 
I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is like, this is at the bottom of the garbage bin yeah. for Mariah. And she's like, well, I could give him this. And it's going to be the most amazing thing ever. We're going berserk. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Like, lambs are around the globe ripping their hair out. Uh, yeah. Just <laughs> in excitement. <laughs> it's thank, amazing. Thank God for COVID. Thank goodness. <laughs> so we can grow our wigs back. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, like, for all these years, we've always been hearing about these songs um, and like, the, you know, the duet with Justin Timberlake or the Save the Day that we've heard about before, where I was like, well, why doesn't she just put it out? Why doesn't she just put it out? But I'm like, okay, now that I see that she has this amazing plan, I'm like, this is perfect mm-hmm. for her to put all of this out. Yeah. And I'd rather get it in this type of format and release mm-hmm. than just a random song here or a random song there. That or fast forward a hundred years and random people are releasing it because they own the catalog or something. Exactly. You know, and they're just like throwing things out just, you know, to get a bite. Yeah. So I'm glad that she's doing it this way. Um, We are going to take a quick break, but let's talk about Good Morning America because she finally made her summer concert appearance. I know. Well, I'm kind of glad now that the first one got canceled because this feels like just better timing. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, I would have taken her at the beginning of summer and now. Yes, yes, (laughs) yes. I know. But this feels just better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's all it's all good press. It's all good moments. So she was on Good Morning America. First of all, she had posted on her Instagram mm-hmm. that beautiful, luxuriously uh, curled hair and good makeup. Oh my god, and gorgeous! Gave me GTFO video. Very, vibes. very much that big hair. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. golden tan. I'm glad the volume is back. Yes. Well, she said the humidity is working for yes, her, honey. Yes. <laughs> I just like it better than the flat iron. Oh, for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. (laughs) So she gave us that and I was like, okay, all that she's like teasing us something. And Mm -hmm. obviously she was recording her Mm -hmm. um, Good Morning America appearance via Skype or Zoom or however they do it. Yeah. And I feel like a conversation is, oh, was it live? Was it pre-taped? Who cares? Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Of doesn't, course, it's pre-taped. Who, yeah. I, I, Mariah's not getting up in the middle of a pandemic at 6 a.m. Exactly. No, this is all pre-recorded. Six, and that's fine. 4 a.m., hair and makeup. Mm, Got to get for ready. For all of that hair? Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. No, 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 no. But you don't want to do that. I, no. no. No one does. <laughs> no, who does that? No. Girl, please. Pre-record it all day long. Yeah. But so she did an interview part before the performance. um, And the good old Michael Strahan was there asking her the typical questions, Mm -hmm. which I was like, okay, good. Yeah. But I, you know, I'm, I want something bigger. I like, I want like an in-depth, hopefully when the book comes out, she'll be doing more of like in-depth talk. Yeah. Because this was very surface. Very surface. I feel like you want to do the in-depth juicy moments when the book is available to purchase so they can the listener the viewer can immediately click 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 purchase the book that's true yes you want people click 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 in mm-hmm. as you're talking mm-hmm. about it or exactly. like right so yeah and this i guess was just a good sort of warm-up because we haven't seen mariah on television really mm. in any aspect for a few months since the performances yeah. early on in the pandemic but even then she wasn't really talking about anything mm-hmm. she wasn't talking about the book she wasn't talking about you know songs or mc30 mm. so we finally get her talking about that a little bit mm-hmm. and there were some interesting things that she said in the interview like in terms terms of you know she announced the rarities album and then she also said that some of the song she's going to be talking about some of those songs in the book yeah right and yeah. i'm like well that's going to be interesting because these aren't even like songs from your album that like the regular person would know they're not right. going to you're not going to be it sounds as though she's not going to be talking about her big hits yes which I like. I say I'm totally fine with that. Oh, I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. I want the insides. I want to know why, you know, Save the Day wasn't released back 10 years ago mm. when she wrote it. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, why she decided to maybe keep a song off of an album. Well, I wonder if they, it's because they are personal songs that do have a personal story behind it. Because you know how she talks about getting looking in on the Daydream album? She had to kind mm. of slip it in and fight for it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I wonder if there are songs that couldn't make it onto albums that are personal like that. Yeah. Maybe we have a whole bunch of like pedals and close my eyes that we just don't the, even know about. <laughs> I bet we do. Yeah. I bet we do. So I thought that was the most interesting thing about the Mariah interview on Good Morning America because I'm like, okay, there's some there's some deep talk. There's some good stuff going on here. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure she's going to deliver it. She is going to deliver it. Um, the performances. The performances. Let's get to them. Do you think they're the ones that she did earlier in the year? No. 
because they're because these are not in her home. You're these, right. These that, that, are in her Hamptons mm-hmm. rental, summer rental. You're right. Because we would know if that was in her home. It did have soundproofing behind her. Did you notice that? Yeah, but it didn't look like anything that's in her house. Right. Didn't, I mean, match that, the, didn't the paint didn't match the the core it did not, <laughs> of the New York I mean, apartment? We know Mariah's. You, we know what her style is, <laughs> and this house is not her style. Yeah, I'm sure it's gorgeous and beautiful, and I will take it. Yes. Um. But so so I think she did those very recently. Right. Those are not the ones that she was planning on earlier, mm-hmm. which is great. Yeah. Yeah. Because you never know. Maybe Good Morning America will throw those out. One day for us all to love and enjoy. Right. Now, what did you think of the, the song selections? Interesting. Yes. I I was thoroughly surprised. You were? And, yes. By what? Close my eyes. Oh, that was just a surprise. A girl. Yeah. I never in a million years. But we're I, going in that direction. Memoirs, mm-hmm. personal. Yeah. Butterfly era. That's why it was the perfect song for her to sing. Oh, just put, I just put a, Puzzle piece back in. Okay, yeah. What is it? Is that a little shout out to Butterfly Week that should be this week? Mm, good thinking. Good thinking. Because, <laughs> yeah, we were all expecting something from Butterfly this week. Right? So, MC30, we're not getting anything this week. Except, uh, except, except a whole Dog 2 disc album. Oh, the, I mean, yes. Except <laughs> the whole rarities and everything, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Which is fine because I'm, I'm backlogged with MC30. True, exactly. I need to catch up. <laughs> hours of remixes. Yes. Hours. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm sure we'll get something big next week. Um, but I was very happy and very surprised with Close My Eyes. But it does mm-hmm. make sense, like you were saying. It's those more personal songs that she's now like trying to open the general public's eyes to. Mm-hmm. Close My Eyes is that song, girl, because you know that's my song. Mm-hmm. Now, I will say, in terms of live performances, mm-hmm. this does not make my top two or three even, because she's had some brilliant performances of this song. I had the exact same thought. It still doesn't even hold a torch to the Rosie live. It just doesn't. She it can't. Just, and she never will. I don't no, think she'll ever be able to. No, no. Don't I don't try. Think, like, let, let the Rosie let, live be the queen of the pile of Close you. My Eyes. Thank you. For <laughs> sure. For sure. But I'm really uh, glad uh, that Can she, we get that in HD and release? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While the machine's on? We might have to talk to Rosie about that one. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. I love that she did some little changes to like, you know, the mm-hmm. melody a little bit and close mm-hmm. my eyes as she did with Vision of Love. Mm-hmm. That high note in Vision of Love, mm-hmm. girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Honey. I think those were the perfect song choices and I was thoroughly pleased, surprised. And I've also, I have to say, I think Mariah is listening to the Lamely because she's doing things that are unexpected now. Yes. She's that type of woman who is a really you know, feels real safe in like doing the same set list, the Mm. same song. She's very comfortable Mm -hmm. and she's breaking out of that comfort zone. And I think we are reaping the beautiful benefits of it. Yeah. But I think part of that is she's in her comfort zone. Doesn't have to go to a studio with strangers and people gawking at her. True. She's in her space in control of the environment. Mm -hmm. She can say that was good. Let me do it again. There's, that pressure of production isn't there. That's true. And I also think maybe, you know, after writing and finishing the book and whatnot, I mean, she's maybe more comfortable just as who she is as a woman mm-hmm. and as an artist. Mm-hmm. And she can sort of, you know, do these things that she knows that we will appreciate. Mm-hmm. Because I was watching that Close My Eyes and Vision of Love, like, over and over. Mm-hmm. Loving them. What do you think of the um, Daniel Moore background vocals? Okay, why are you why are you making me come and say this? Because I kind of liked it. <laughs> I thought it could have been a little bit better. I would have liked if Marianne and Trey were there. He sounded great, but there was a couple of times where I was just like, there needs to be more vocal background vocals. Or maybe that's just because I'm used to the more va- background vocals. Oh, I liked it because it simplified the background vocals and it was just good for the morning. I mean, I see that too, but I think... I thought he was good. I thought he carried it. I thought it it was good. Honey, honey, sing better than me. Mm -hmm. But I just was expecting more. I wanted a little bit more. Mm. Especially maybe with Close My Eyes, because Close My Eyes is such a song that, like, it really is about the layers of songs and the layers of vocals Mm -hmm. and, and the lyrics and everything. So I just feel like that song... In order to get that that la da dot 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 or whatever like down right, you need some sort of support in the back, and and Daniel wasn't enough in my book, but I still loved it. No, I, I really liked it. I thought it was a good switch up. I think him on Vision of Love was great. Yes, but Close My Eyes was a little it, it lacked. 
See, I didn't mind because I was just thinking in my mind the whole time, Douglas can't beat the Rosie, so I'll just take this. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going to beat the Rosie. That is for sure. I could have done with one more song. I thought we were doing a concert series. You know what? That's true. That's true. What? Okay, if she, picked, if she had one other song to do, what would it be? I could have taken an Underneath the Stars. Ooh, that's, yeah, that would, that would have been it. That would have been it. Because that's a, that's a good one that people don't know of. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would do that. I, I mean, always my go-to is like a hero or we belong together because that's what the people want. Yeah. But if I had to pick one, I I would say, and we probably will never get this, but you never know. In, in 2020, days. Mariah's <laughs> giving us more than we ever expected. Yeah. I would say something because it's like an announcement for like the fans or something, something like for the record which mm. has that whole bridge of mm. like mm. basically all her songs. Like that would have been cute. A little like retrospective song. Like, yeah. Like a little lands. something. That would have been cute. That would have been cute. But yeah. we got what we got and I loved it. It was great. And she looked great. Sounded great. Mm-hmm. Jamming out. Mm-hmm. All right. So we are going to take a quick break. We're coming back. We're getting into the good, the guts of it oh, all. Gosh. <laughs> we haven't even touched it. <laughs> <laughs> 